I launched a podcast. So if you guys listen to podcasts, make sure to go check out the Outdoor Limits podcast. It's going to be a, a lot of fun. We're going to talk about a lot of different stuff, not just waterfowl hunting. I'm going to get some really cool guests on there. So make sure if you listen to podcasts, check out the Outdoor Limits podcast and uh, give it a listen. It's going to be a lot of fun. Week six update. Cora's pumped up. She's ready to show you guys what we've been working on. It has been a very fun week. We've been making a lot of progress together. And uh, this week we did heel work again. So last week we did uh, off lead heel work. This week we did on lead heel work. So basically the same thing. She didn't really notice much of a difference throughout the week between like off lead and on lead heel work. I was able to kind of help correct some of the things she was doing uh, with the lead versus not having the lead. And then we've also worked on sit to the whistle. So she knows I've got treats. She knows we're training here. So she's pretty pumped up. But I've got a whistle here. Yeah. I've got, it's a Acme 210 and a half. It's a whistle that when I blow it once, she's going to be sitting. So Cora is going to be whistle trained, which is very exciting to see. Uh, see the start of that coming on with this week so um, she took to it really quick and I'm very excited to show you guys what we've been working on but if you guys haven't tuned into any of the past Cora videos I'm training her with the Cornerstone Gundog Academy so um, it lays out step by step day by day week by week what to do to get your puppy to a finished bird dog and it's been fantastic. I love the program because I've never trained a dog before and it gives me all the information that I could ever want plus the Facebook community plus all the comments on everything. So like, it's just fantastic. I am incredibly happy with Cornerstone and if you guys have a puppy you're looking to train or you got a dog that you know you need to brush up some skills on with the pup or dog or whatever you got, check out Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy. I've got a link in the description. If you order through that link, you will save 50 bucks. So make sure to head over there and do that. Cora, are you ready? So if you guys are new to this, the people that live behind me have got some really noisy dogs that bark at everything. So um, that kind of makes these training videos in the backyard a little bit interesting. So hopefully in the future, we'll be able to be filming some other places they're chasing the neighbor's dog right now. <laughs> but we got Cora here. You guys can't see her, but she's there. She's just sitting and watching. Um, I've been actually working with her uh, and keeping her from running back and forth against the fence with those dogs behind us so that she doesn't develop bad habits by barking at those dogs and running around and being crazy. So I want to have her be very well mannered and not bark while she's out in the backyard. So I've been out here every day when she's in the backyard. Hey, 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 we're over here. I've been out here with her whenever we go out, just keeping an eye on her, making sure she's doing what we want to do. So here is a quick little show for you guys on what we've been working on. It's going to look a lot like last week, but we incorporated the whistle, which is really, really cool to see. So um, clicker, I need my clicker. Some of you guys have been asking about this. So this is a marker. So when Cora is doing something that I like that she does, so Cora. Sit. I'll click it and since the beginning we've been conditioning her to know that that click means she's going to get a treat. So it's a way for me to, in the moment, mark a behavior that I like and then she recognizes that as, you know, I get a reward and then throughout time and training we figure out what that behavior is and she continues to do it and gets treats. So we will fade the treats out eventually, but right now it's a great motivator. So here is what we've been working on. Four, six, heel. Same old same, just like last week. Four, heel. I think we've definitely gotten better with heel. Heel. She knows that when I stop, she sits. We got pretty good placement. The form is looking good. 
I've never done it in a circle like this before, so this is kind of making me dizzy, but she's, she's keeping up with it. Let me show you guys the sit on whistle because this has been my favorite part of the week. Because this is how this whistle is how I'm going to control her while we're out in the field hunting. So it's exciting to be able to introduce this so early and see her, you know, like really pick up on it quick. So check this out. I got to be careful. I can't let her off the lead or eat grass or whatever. I just put some crabgrass preventer down so I don't want her eating a bunch of that. I would have her off lead, have her doing something, and have her sit, but we'll give this a go. Good. 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 So we, we picked up on that within like the first two sessions and we've been fantastic at it for a long time. But she's been doing great. I love her ears. I love how they get like, a, they like make her personality, you know. She's just, she's just a cute puppy. She's 13, going to be 14 weeks on Sunday. Today is Thursday. And uh, she's been having a blast. I love this lead. So this is the Cornerstone lead. Um, I've tried a lot. We've got like probably nine different leashes and leads. And this is by far my favorite. I just love the material. It's really loose and tightens up very easily. And it's got a clip to let her go for future stuff. So that's been my favorite lead I've used. It's a little shorter too. So I'm able to really not have to manage a lot of line while I'm hanging out with her and doing some training sessions but yeah this week was off lead heel or on on lead heel and sit on the whistle she's really come out of her shell man she's just a blast she's potty trained pretty much and that's just kind of how it goes hey hey you got anything you want to tell the followers? Everybody that thinks you're the best ever? Maybe? We're going to go on a walk later. That'll be fun. Some like little progresses we've made through the week have been um, she sits and waits for her food and she's been really good about it. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Cora. You can have your food. <laughs> so that's kind of instilling patience in her and I like seeing that. I think she's got a poop or something. I don't know. Oh, she got a pee. We have been um, settling down in the evening time and hanging out on the couch. And, you know, like up until like a week or two ago, she never did that. She would always just be bitey, running around, trying to just get into stuff. And over the past like week and a half, she's really just kind of settled down in the evening and just slept on the couch. It's been really fun seeing that because that's what Lauren and I want. We want her to be able to just kind of turn the off switch on, I guess turn turn off the switch and just lay down on the couch, settle down, sleep, and just be a, a good house dog. So she's gonna be a hunting dog, she's gonna be a working dog, she's got a lot of drive, she's really smart, but we also want a good family companion. And she's kind of becoming the best of both worlds. And she's having so much fun. Very food motivated. She's growing up so fast. 
next week we're going to be kind of working on stuff that I've been working on since the beginning, and that's recall. And she's been pretty good about it. But I really hope that next week with working on recall in these training sessions, it'll get so much better. It's been kind of here and there, hit and miss, especially when she's distracted outside, just kind of sniffing around, eating rabbit turds and grass that she doesn't really listen. But most of the time she does. So I'm hoping next week when working on recall, we will be able to uh, just kind of be more consistent with it. But that's it for today. Uh, if you guys want to follow Cora on Instagram, she has an Instagram where we post pictures of her. I don't want to flood my Instagram with a bunch of pictures of Cora. I'm not sure a lot of people would like that. Even though she's so cute. Uh, you can follow her at tales.of.cora with a K. So follow her on there. You can follow me on my social media. Like I said, if you want to save 50 bucks on Cornerstone Gone Dog Academy, there is a link in the description. So head over there, check that out. And uh, we'll keep training. If you guys got a pup, let me know down in the comments what you guys have been working on. I'd love to hear it. Oh, also, I launched a podcast. So if you guys listen to podcasts, Make sure to go check out the Outdoor Limits podcast. It's going to be a, a lot of fun. We're going to talk about a lot of different stuff, not just waterfowl hunting. I'm going to get some really cool guests on there. So make sure if you listen to podcasts, check out the Outdoor Limits podcast and uh, give it a listen. It's going to be a lot of fun. But that is it for today. Cora needs to go on a walk and uh, rest up and be ready to learn some more stuff. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll catch you on the next one.